Hey guys, so I don't know if this video will ever be up anywhere because it's not something that I usually upload on my YouTube channel. I usually just film a dance or if I talk about something, it's something to do with dance or I don't know, something I don't talk about topics like my sexuality. I bet a lot of you guys watching this video know like nothing about me or actually if you know nothing about me you probably aren't even interested in these videos and you're not even watching but if you are hello welcome I'm a nice person I think and I would like to make more videos like this if if I ever decide to upload this because it's still a bit of a sensitive topic for me but I've been talking about this with a lot of my friends recently, both from school and online friends, and I decided that I want to, I don't know, just share with someone. So I decided to take my camera or my fucking phone because I don't have a camera. Um, and just talk about something that really bothers me. So I'm sexually confused and that's okay, I guess. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being sexually confused. There's a lot of people that are sexually confused and don't have a label, but it sucks. I hate being confused. It's like this constant thinking in your brain. You're like, you're overthinking everything, or at least I am, and I don't like it. I hate that it makes my life so complicated, like, I want to have a label for myself, I want to have something that feels like a part of me, I want to have a sexual identity that feels comfortable and I can identify, uh, and I can identify myself as that something. I identify myself as pansexual and for the most part it's fine, it's absolutely amazing. I feel comfortable, it feels like this is me, I feel super good about it, I'm like yes I'm pansexual, I'm proud of this and I can be happy with it and but then there's times when I'm thinking whoa well I don't know, there's just something about the term that makes me super uncomfortable and makes me feel guilty that I identify myself as a term like that when in reality my brain is telling me that you're not pansexual, you can't say that because you don't like guys. And then I tell myself, do I really like guys? I don't know, it's a constant struggle between myself because some days I'm fine with the term and other days I'm just completely like, that's not the term I want to use. So, I mean, I guess confused is the only term I can use. Let me explain a bit. I'm a girl and I like girls. I like, I'm romantically and sexually attracted to girls, which is fine, that's cool. That would make me a lesbian. Nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, I don't think gender has a big role in who I find attractive. I've had plenty of crushes on girls, but I've also had plenty of crushes on people that I don't even know their gender, I don't know their pronouns, I don't know what they identify themselves as, so to me it just doesn't make any sense to call myself lesbian because I've felt attraction towards other genders as well, I think, I mean they could identify themselves as girls, possible, but oh so my, so when you're a pansexual a lot of people have different views on what pansexuality is, but I think for me, pansexuality is that you are attracted to a person regardless of their gender, which I think is true. I just happen to be attracted to girls, but I wouldn't care what their gender is. I think there's definitely some features that I find attractive and obviously some personality traits and everything, but I don't think that gender or their gender identity necessarily has anything to do with who I feel attracted to. I've had boy crushes and I feel like I still look at guys and think oh he's pretty or he's really hot and that's fine, that's totally normal 
Um, but when I take a step further from just thinking that someone's hot or someone's cute or pretty and like feeling kind of like, oh, I could maybe want to kiss him, you know. But when it comes to dating, when it comes to me being in a relationship with someone else, I just can't see myself being in a relationship with a guy. Like, I don't know why, but that in my brain there's no such thing as me and a guy being happily together and dating or marrying a guy. I don't know why, and that is super weird because I still feel attraction towards guys, but there's just... I can't see myself dating a guy for some reason. Maybe it's because I haven't dated a guy before, but I also haven't dated a girl before. And I can definitely say that I can see myself dating a girl, I can see myself marrying a girl, I can see myself spending my whole life with a girl. So it's really weird that my mind is deciding that you can do that with girls, but you can't do that with boys. And that's making me think, can I really say that I'm pansexual? I don't know. The main reason why I decided to make this video was because I watched a couple of these videos on YouTube and every single one of those said that it's okay if you're sexually confused. You don't need to have a label. This world is full of labels. Why should you need to give yourself a label? And I'm thinking, yeah, true, but I want a label. I want something to feel part of me. I need that sense of self that I can tell other people. And I can tell myself that I can tell that I'm this. Whether it is lesbian, pansexual, whatever, demisexual, I don't know. But I would like to have that label to keep for me and to have to feel better about myself because as much as I'm against labels and I don't think they are your identity and I definitely do not think that but I would still want something that's like a small part of my identity because being confused sucks it's exhausting like it's thinking all the time that you need to have something to label yourself as and I would just want to not be confused, have a label, live a happy life <laughs> yeah, I know that's not gonna be, once I have a label I'm gonna be confused as hell and it's gonna be a ride but you know I think having a label would help with my internal struggles with this confusion and I think having a label would also help my coming out I'm totally comfortable with saying to people that I'm not straight, that I'm something else other than straight. And I know that. I know for a fact that I'm not straight. But I've only come out to a couple of people. I've come out to some dance friends and I've come out to my best friend. And I came out to my dance friends as pansexual. That happened in... When was that? I have no idea when that was. That was probably sometime during spring. And it just happened didn't get much of a response um when I came out to my best friend I just told her that I'm not straight didn't get much of a response then either and I'm fine I'm totally comfortable with my sexuality whatever the fuck my sexuality is it's weird how comfortable I am with like being something else other than straight when I don't even know what I am but when and I'm very proud and I'm comfortable online. I share rainbow pictures. I talk about my girl crush very, very, very openly on Twitter. I don't care that I have in real life people following me that I haven't come out to. They can figure it out themselves. I'm pretty sure they already have figured it out and that's fine for me. I don't care. But I think it's very unnecessary to come out when I don't know what my sexuality is and I would like to come out to my parents because they deserve to know what I am because they're my parents and I want to tell them. There have been times when I've been alone in the car with my dad or my mom and it's just been the perfect time when I'm like, I could tell now. And then I start thinking, what am I gonna tell? That I'm not straight? Cool. It would just be so much explaining like, okay mom. Um, I like girls. I maybe like boys, kinda. I don't know, possibly. I kinda like boys too, but I don't know. Uh, my sexuality is not this and it's not this either. So, do you accept me? A mom be like, what the fuck are you doing? So yeah, it's a bit weird to 
I don't know, just help a lot of things. But leave your comments down below to whether you are sexually confused or you like labels or you don't like labels or if you know what you are as a label but don't want to label yourself, that's fine. Like, totally fine. I just, this is my opinion on things. I would like to have a label for myself, but it's, it's not necessary. It's like the point in the video where I've said everything I wanted to say, but I don't know if I said everything and if everything even makes sense. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry this video was kind of all over the place because these are just thoughts that I've had for so long and I've been talking about this with my friends so much it's like I used to not want to talk about these things but now that I've been talking about these things a lot more I feel like it's so nice to talk about these things it's like I want to get my thoughts out there and I want to get responses from other people because that's what really helps but yeah I'm still sexually confused that's that's totally fine it doesn't suck as much as I think it sucks but it does suck a bit but I'll see you guys whenever I'll make my next video. Bye, I love you, and you should love yourself too. <laughs> what the sound of funny resonance? You should go and love yourself. No. But all seriousness, I don't know. This was, it was nice to film this video. I don't know if you liked this. It was a mess. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and maybe I'll make something like this in the future. Probably, possibly. I don't know what my youtube channel is anymore so uh, welcome if this is the first video you see um hello new person i'm not that scary i like apples if you like apples we're cool so yeah bye